I've been going to not just Rwanda, I've been going to many other African countries and um, just watch this piece. Uh, I need to talk to many leaders across the continent. As you know, there are candidates to be successful must get total thirds um, physically. The first round or second round. If you don't get two thirds, then you're not elected. So I have to dialogue with actually all leadership of the continent. Okay. Yeah. A very good afternoon. Uh, gentlemen, this is serious. There's no lady amongst you. <laughs> I'd have, so I can't even say ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gardeners will save you because I see some two ladies. Um, we have had a very good session. And uh, as the as male leadership, as male la moja one Kenya leadership. And we have agreed that um, our brother Jeremiah Kioni, Secretary General of, uh, of Jubilee, and one who was also the chair of our technical team during the National Dialogue Committee, reads our statement uh, today. Mishmoa Jeremiah. Asante, the, this is a statement on meeting of Azimio Summit that was held today, March the 5th, 2024. We have had a meeting of the summit, which is Azimio Ramoja, one Kenya Coalition Party's top decision-making organ. The purpose of the meeting was, one, to take a bird's eye view of the, of the nation with regard to issues that we have been outspoken on, namely the high cost of living, inclusivity in appointments to public service, the taxation regime, and the general health of the economy. Two, get a briefing on the status and progress of the NADICO report. Three, get a briefing, a briefing on the progress and and status of a Zmiu reader, right on our writer Amoro Odinga's bid for the chairmanship of the African Union Commission. On the state of the economy, <coughs> the summit maintains that the view that the tax burden being borne by Kenyans is unreasonable and unsustainable. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime is failing the test of being caring and compassionate. Paying taxes should never be a punishment but a patriotic duty. Under the KK regime, taxation is a punishment that is hurting the entire economy. We remain opposed to the 16% tax on petroleum products. We remain opposed to the housing tax and its colonial adatons that make it look like the infamous hatch tax of the colonial 